how to mount cooling solutions onto COM Express Type 7, 6, and 2 modules. To mount the cooling solution, an adjustable torque screwdriver with a Phillips 1 bit is required. The screwdriver must be adjustable from 0.1 Newton meters up to 0.5 Newton meters in steps of 0.1. Ensure proper protection from the effects of electrostatic discharge. Remove the cooling solution and the bag with the screws and washers from the packaging. If there is a pocket for the thermal stacks, ensure the thermal stacks are inside the limits of the pocket. If necessary, carefully move it inside the limits of the pocket. If there is a foil on the gap pad, apply slight pressure on the entire surface of the foil above the gap pad and then carefully remove the foil. Place a washer on each screw. There are long screws for mounting the module to the carrier board and shorter screws for mounting the module to the cooling solution. Refer to this image to check which standoffs of the cooling solution are intended for mounting the module and cooling solution combination to the carrier board. The remaining standoffs of the cooling solution are intended for mounting the cooling solution to the module. Place the module and cooling solution next to each other to check the correct orientation. For easier alignment, put a long screw in two opposing corners of the module and use them as a guide. Carefully place the module in the correct orientation on the top of the cooling solution. Now, insert the short screws with the washers inside the designated holes of the module. If the module is attached to the cooling solution via two screws, set the adjustable torque screwdriver to 0.1 newton meters. Start with either screw and tighten both screws alternately in steps of 0.1 newton meters until they are fastened with a total torque value of 0.5 newton meters. If the module is attached to the cooling solution via more than two screws, start tightening the screw closest to the center of the module. If there are four screws, continue in a crisscross pattern. Tighten the screws in the same pattern in steps of 0.1 newton meters until all screws are fastened with a total torque value of 0.5 newton meters. After the cooling solution is mounted on top of the module, place the module on the carrier board. The next steps depend on whether the cooling solution has threaded or borehole standoffs. A cooling solution with threaded standoffs must always be mounted on a carrier board with borehole standoffs. A cooling solution with borehole standoffs must always be mounted on a carrier board with threaded standoffs. The next steps show how to mount a cooling solution with borehole standoffs. Set the adjustable torque screwdriver to 0.1 newton meters. Insert all screws with the washers in the designated holes. Start with the screw in the corner closest to the COM Express connector and continue tightening the screws in a crisscross pattern in steps of 0.1 newton meters until a total torque of 0.4 newton meters. For a cooling solution with threaded standoffs, turn the carrier board around and follow the same mounting sequence as described for cooling solutions with borehole standoffs. If you have successfully completed the previously mentioned steps, the module and carrier board are now ready to be used. In case of questions, contact your local Congatech sales representative.